Good afternoon and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi on the first day of spring. Today we're going to have a walk around our 2011 model BMW X1 diesel five-door hatchback. And we'll start off at the front of the uh, car, distinctive chrome grille in the front of the BMWs, factory driving lights down in the bumper bar there. We've got front sensors, front parking sensors on the little BMW as well for safety. Finished in jet black, metallic jet black, presents really well for a little 2011 model. Factory alloy wheels with 17 inch tyres, running Pirellis all round, of course, being uh, European class and quality, running the best tyres you can as well. It is a little S-Drive 2 litre diesel, which we'll talk in depth about a little bit uh, later on. Colour coded outer door handles, colour coded outer mirrors. The overall presentation really impressive for an 11. Minor little scratch just on our rear quarter panel there, which that'll polish off actually, so no biggie. <coughs> As we come around to the rear, we've also got uh, colour coded reverse sensors, um, the distinctive chrome badging, the BMW emblem, high mount stop light in our little tailgate spoiler, and the overall presentation, apart from a minor little blemish just there, which probably should have been touched up. Um, the overall condition really good. And uh, as we move around to the passenger side, and I've got to say, the alloy wheels, the factory alloys, um, all four of them are actually unmarked. So in really impressive condition all round. And same can be said for the passenger side of the car. Having a really close look at the Juco, can't really pick any discernible marks or scratches. So, you know, for a car that's into its four, four and a half years old, uh, I've got to say, really well looked after so far. The last thing to touch on um, before we finish the exterior is also fitted with the factory sunroofs. And once again, we'll have a little bit further chat about them shortly. So now we move on to some really impressive information that we're going to tell you about as far as the drive of this car goes. As we mentioned earlier, powered by a little two litre turbo diesel motor, this car is going to give you 130 kilowatts of power 350 newton meters of torque but the super impressive thing about this little beamer is that it's going to deliver 5.9 liters per 100 k's so even though they're only a 61 liter fuel tank you can expect in excess of a thousand and thirty kilometers out of a tank of diesel impressive back around to the rear of the bmw now we'll have a little bit of a look in the uh storage section Really small, compact little hatch, but still quite a good little storage area as well. A little netting section there, so we can put some uh, cargo in storage and it doesn't move around. Um, same can be said on the left-hand side as well. We've also got a, uh, a little 12 volt outlet just on our right-hand side there. A couple of straps to hold our cargo down. And then underneath the cover there, another little storage compartment as well. So, uh, you know, quite a good little uh, good little storage area there. Also does have the little cargo shelf, um, just in the event we want to keep everything secure and out of, out of sight in the back of the car, you've got all that as well. And then just below this little cargo um, area, I've dropped one of the second row seats. You can see we can increase the amount of storage area if we need to as well. So here we are inside the little BMW now, and uh, I've got to tell you, it's a super quality, this car. Just screams luxury, sitting in a beautiful leather seat in, in control of the cockpit. So we're going to run through the features, and starting on our driver's armrest, all of our power window switches and our button for our exterior mirrors as well, all at our fingertips. Directly up in front of that, we've got automatic headlights, our driving light controls, headlight height control as well. So they are auto, they'll turn themselves on when needed. Moving to our steering wheel, height and reach adjustable. Set yourself up where you're nice and comfortable, lock away into position there, and away we go. Um, a few things on our leather wrapped steering wheel to take note of. Just excuse that Pajero that's about to hit us. Um, leather wrapped steering wheel. We've got all of our controls for our cooling and our audio, Bluetooth, it does have Bluetooth connectivity, just depending on the type of phone you own. Um, also, our wipers are on our right-hand side, being a European car. Uh, in indicators on our left, 
and obviously a button on our indicator stalk also just to control our readout on our dashboard tells us about uh, fuel consumption our distance to empty and all of that info that you need right in front of you at your fingertips also has paddle shift on the back of the steering wheel we'll discuss that when we get to the transmission very shortly moving into the centre section one important thing to note it is push button start the little BMW and then moving up to the left of that big storage compartment in there our cooling uh, vents directly below first time we've been able to use air conditioning for a long time here in Berwick today down to our uh, stereo system CD player of course AM FM um, we do have all of our auxiliary inputs um, down the bottom to stream our music if needed climate control air conditioning as well um, as I mentioned in the transmission six-speed Steptronic Auto drive it as a normal automatic flick it across into sports mode and then we can actually drive it by using the two paddles on our steering wheel just up and down manually change through the gears just by the paddles give it that sports car feel if you like another little coin holder just here directly behind that I know I might be going a little bit quick but have a really good look at the quality of the interior in this car a cup holder behind that section there and then of course our console here with another cup holder a little storage area there full leather interior so all of our seatings leather steering wheels leather even the infills in our doors are leather so it just oozes quality this little car as I mentioned earlier I'm, I'm going a little bit fast for, for our cameraman today Lynn we've just got to get through a few videos we do have uh, our uh, roof when we bring it all the way to open and then of course it's another uh, another push on the button to open it right up so really impressive large sunroof area um, gives us a lot of flexibility just stream the light in or open it right up in summertime so uh, you know we can go as far as we like all the way back there gives it that real ample opening so super impressive what a car to be getting around town in now that the good weather's here all your friends would be so jealous but if it's too sunny just push on the button again which is automatic closes the roof cover right off again and we turn it back into a little hatch um, last but not least our airbags and it's important to note that we've got all six airbags front side and curtain therefore this car does rate as a five star ANCAP safety rating super safe car um, sporty little car I really like it service books are good being a diesel the intervals are a lot longer than your normal cars so pretty much every 20 and it's fairly well on the money um, it's just uh, between the three services um, and BMW dealer was one of them apart from the service we've just done um, at 20 at 50 at 62 as well um, so servicing's pretty much up to date as well uh, so yeah everything everything about this little car is exciting so just in summary a few really important things to take note of um, 130 kilowatts of power 350 newton meters of torque powered by a little two litre turbo diesel in excess of a thousand kilometers to a tank of fuel five star ANCAP safety rating really good K's for its age just over 60 and then a really impressive presenting motor car feel free to give us a call on 99070 555 for any further assistance